Frankenstein begins and ends with an epistolary frame, a series of letters from the explorer Robert Walton to his sister, Margaret Seville Walton. Walton is a successful Englishman and the captain of a ship headed on a dangerous voyage to the North Pole. He wants to make scientific discoveries and become a famous explorer. In the first letter, Walton describes the preparations leading up to the voyage and his desire to accomplish something great. In the second letter, Walton describes securing a ship and hiring sailors, but more importantly, his loneliness and need for friendship. In the third letter, Walton writes that the ship is nearing the North Pole. He and his crew have sailed through a storm, but he assures her he is in no danger. In the fourth letter, Walton tells his sister his ship is stuck in a field of icebergs. He and his crew saw a gigantic figure of a man traveling by dog sled. The next morning, they found another man of normal size, also on a dog sled. This second man was near to death, but refused to enter the ship unless it was bound for the North Pole. The man revealed that he was chasing the gigantic figure. Walton explains in the letter that he is thrilled to have a friend to talk to, even though the man does not talk much and seems to be miserable. Walton tells his sister that the stranger is going to tell his story the following day and has agreed to let Walton record it. The connections to Paradise Lost continue into the letters. For instance, critics have noted that both St. Petersburg and Archangel, the places where Walton prepares, are biblical references. These letters serve several purposes, as a frame of narrative, as a veneer of realism, and as a way to introduce Walton. Walton is a character who will come to resemble Victor Frankenstein in many ways. Given that the book is written during the Romantic period, readers would likely find Walton to be an interesting character, given his ambition and imagination. Lastly, the letters introduce one of the novel's primary themes, companionship. Walton is bitterly lonely, and even though Victor is reclusive, Walton quickly takes to him.